What's up, everybody? Matt Camp here, and welcome back to Trams, the Accurate Manual Simulator that is total. Absolutely total. It's time for more challenge levels. Let's see if we can't get through a good number of these today. Ah, the peace level. My favorite place for war and carnage. Spears, spears, spears and shields. Spears and shields for days. I have a thousand. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you're going to get through this kind of stuff with little money, I, don't know, I feel like the dragon might be the way to go, right? What can I back you up with, though? Maybe I put you right here and then add a couple Samurais in? Maybe? Just to take a little bit of the heat off? Although, the only problem with that is I scattered them unintentionally. So that might not have been a good idea. Yeah. Oops. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's put these guys right here. And right here. That way everybody gets kind of together. I didn't mean to split them all up. They still might be split apart a little bit too much, though. Unless my guys can get around the back. Punch them behind the shield. Watch out for that spear. Come on, Samurai! And he stabbed him! Oh man! Okay, well that didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. He did stab him, though. What else do we have that could stop spears, but is also ranged? Like a Zeus would work, but we don't have enough money. I don't think Snakashies would do much, because I can only get four of them. Because this would cost chaos in their lines, but I don't think... Yeah, see, the snakes wouldn't do enough damage because I don't have enough of them. So, completely pointless. We could do something like a catapult, maybe, but that's still quite a bit of money. The scarecrow probably couldn't do enough damage here. He has to get so close. I mean, seriously. Could we get any closer to the enemy? Yeah, see, they, just, they all just die on the shields. So they can't even get around or inside to cause any kind of damage. I'm pretty sure the same thing would happen to the vampires. I can only get a few of them anyways as well. They're just going to run right into the spears. And not actually reach into the lines. So it might still be a thing where the dragon is kind of the best play here, I think. I mean, we could do something like this, which would get behind enemy lines. They're not going to be able to shoot fast enough, though, I don't think, is the problem here. Because he's going to get one shot off. Well, maybe, if he can spread his shots around. Hey, look at that! Phew! Going over the shields. That's the correct answer here. Farmers and drunk guys. So let's see. Scythes and potions. So we need some range on that. Could we just do generic archers? Could that be an answer to this? With a squire in the front? He's going to get mowed down, but he'll absorb some of the potions. Oh, good. They hit their own guys. <laughs> Works for me. The problem is... My archers are all going for the scythe guys, which means the potions are getting all the time in the world to work. Come on, yes, there you go. Just kill them faster. There you go. I think we've got this. Should be easy. I've still got three guys that aren't affected by potions. Okay, now they're all affected by potions. There's two more guys to go. Come on, just somebody get a shot off. There you go. If you guys can't win here... There you go. Even drunk, they can do it. Oh, this guy is perfectly fine. He would have hit him. Well, maybe he's not perfectly fine. He's got a little bit of oh, coming out, but you know, you can still do it. My archers are professionally trained. Healers and bucket heads. Okay. Pretty much just range again, I think. 1,200, that's a low amount of money, but... We can get something going here. Maybe do... Two more in the back. Stagger shooting. Let's go. Good. Good. Reload. 
Oh, it's taking them so long to aim. Just need to kill one more guy. Two more guys. Just need to kill two more guys. Come on. Okay, there you go. It's all over. I can't possibly lose now. Let's go, boys. No. Rip. Oh, yeah. Come on. We just, we just need one arrow. There you go. <laughs> They're so slow. Even once the arrow appears, it's like, here's the arrow. I'll get around to shooting at some point. <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh, axes and shields. 2,500. I think we all know what could beat this. I think we all know. And a ninja in the back. Burn through the wooden shields. And then burn through everybody else. Ninja services shouldn't be needed. Yep, but he's there just in case. He's our backup plan, like the insurance policy. Uh, we got the potion throwers. Wooden hay bales. Well, you know what I said before. If you're gonna beat flammable stuff, you should use flammables. Yeah. Alright. Now the question is, are we gonna be able to get through the potions and actually hit the wheelbarrows before they destroy us? Layer 2. Layer 2 got the wheelbarrows. Okay. Layer 1 absorbed the potions. Layer 1 is still going strong. Layer 1 has got this. Perfect. That's the way you work as a team. The ninja not being needed is all part of the plan. Oh, this looks terrible. Well, I was going to say I could burn my way through those ranks, but if I've got shields, we should probably go for the same strategy that I did before. And then maybe just throw... A ninja up here on the stairs? He can come down in the end. And then we can throw one of you guys up here to absorb some sort of something. He can take a Zeus Thunderbolt, at least one of them. Not really. That killed all of my gunslingers. Are you kidding me? The lightning bolt went through every single gunslinger? How come when my Zeus is around it doesn't do that? I feel like it hits multiple guys, but... Not that well. Alright, fine. If you're gonna do that, I'm gonna put my guys way far apart then. Huh? Yeah, how about that? Instead of being in a straight line. Good. Okay. Okay, we got the shield guys, but can we actually kill a Zeus? Is the question. Because now they're all gonna start reflecting off each other. Yeah, I don't even think we're gonna get another shot off here. Well, I lied. We did get another shot off. Ninja's going to be completely annihilated, though. Dang it. We might have to burn our ways through this, then. Can I get close enough? Is the question here. Vond. Oh, that's right. Zeus is going to electrify through all of them, though. Hmm. We can't get a gunslinger. Maybe we can sneak around at the very end? With a Dinomite guy? I could have had enough for a halfling, too, but... Oh, well. Okay, burn some Zeus. We just need to flame a little bit of Zeus here. Come on. Get off of that guy. Flame the Zeus. There you go. We need some massive damage. Good. 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 This is brilliant. Whoa, that was weird. The sound just stopped. Victory goes to the dragons once again. Okay, we got some Valkyries. And are these guys that jump... No. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay, so we've got Valkyries. Can we hit them all before they get here? And a bard. Who doesn't like a bard? The bard's dead. Well, I feel like we hit some of the Valkyries. I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. Okay. I don't know why I thought that would work. I mean, they do have metal shields after all. 
which means that guns aren't going to work from the front. I'm sure the Pirate Queen would probably die as well in there. We can get a good cannon shot off, though. That might help out a little bit. And throw a flintlock way in the back. Good job, cannon. You got a couple guys. Smash through those Valkyries. Use your bomb. It's always about surviving her long enough to get to the bomb. There you go. Wow, that actually did a lot less damage than I thought it would. This might be bad. Oh, yes! Whew. Another epic explosion death with all the snow streaking by her. Look at that brilliance here. Well done. Okay, we got a big pointy stick shooting wooden thing and some more shields. Don't really see anything hidden, so it might just be that. Hmm. If that's the case, I need to absorb a shot and then come in behind that. No, you're not who I meant to throw down! It was supposed to be the ninja! What are you guys doing up there? What even just happened? Oh, they're on the building! This all was just not according to my plan here. Okay, on the ground. And then a ninja. Although it's not like a ninja's gonna make much difference, he's just more expensive. Okay, good. He absorbed the shot. Now, can we get back there in time? Go, dragons, go! Oh boy. Uh oh. Here come the flames. What's gonna happen first here? Huh? Oh no, the flames! He's still in there! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, spread out! Don't stand ever. Oh, oh god, don't everybody stand in a line. Oh, this is bad. The ninja's still alive! Oh, oh no! Is the ninja dead? No, no, we still got this. Come on. What are you doing? Walk forward! Oh my god, I have the stupidest group of people here. Literally. Ninja. Ninja, you're supposed to be fast. What are you doing? Why are we walking like this? What's happening? This isn't a stop motion animation. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you freaking serious right now? That's absolutely 500% unbelievable. 105% unbelievable. Can you dodge this first shot? If I put you over here? No. Okay. Alright, let's switch this around then, maybe. I just can't believe it. Ah, oh, good. You can't fit through there. That's fantastic. I mean, we'll make a nice fire tunnel right here if you can just... There you go. You can just be patient here. Good job. Another success story. Okay, let's put you way back here. And then let's put a couple monks, maybe? Let's put things up here. I want everybody to get closer. But I'm hoping for more of like a diagonal shot on this thing to kind of trick him. Come on, shoot. Yes, shoot this way. That also works. Hurry up, dragon. Hurry up. Uh-oh. Yes, yes, burn it. Oh my god. Oh, he just got hit. Oh, Nelly. The X's are there. But the guys controlling him found victory. Whew. This guy is so lucky. Wow, that fire took way longer to kill him than I thought it would. I mean, it's wood. I thought he'd just destroy it instantly. Uh, okay. Bucket heads, armory looking dudes, and some catapules. How do we want to do this one? Maybe a couple cactuses? Maybe one less of you, one more of you, and then a miner, 
and then we'll put these guys off to the side to try and confuse a little bit here. Okay, good. They're splitting for the cactuses. Cactus guy needs to survive long enough to absorb some of the archery. Oh no. I don't know that he did. And the arrows are going to be one hit kills. Trebuchet is one hit kill, but I got the trebuchets. I got an archer. Oh no, it's not enough. He's going to shoot him and kill him. Oh, it's all over. Crap. I feel like that was going well until it wasn't. Okay, gunslinger here, gunslinger here, and then a miner here, and some halflings? Draw the fire. Come on. I think maybe part of the problem is my gunslingers are too far in the back. I need them to be shooting a lot sooner than they are. Especially with the arrows being one hit kills and perfect targeting. This could work if they can get their shots off in time, which they're not. He took that one right to the stomach. And this one's already right into you. Ooh, lucky, lucky. But not lucky on the back end. Okay. Move him forward. It's, I've had enough of drawing the fire. All right, let's get those shots off. Let's go. Let's go! Okay, everybody reload. We're into the second line. There's four archers. Halflings are still alive. Halfling took one of the shots. Halfling took all the catapult shots. That's exactly what I needed. Shoot your guns. Shoot your guns. Let's go. Let's go. There you go! Yes! <laughs> boom. That's all I have to say to that is boom. Yes! Just a little bit of finagling. That's all it takes sometimes. Just a little bit of finagling. All right! That is it for the challenge level, which means we are moving, most likely, back into the good campaign next time, I think, in the next episode. So look forward to that one. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal.